All right, folks, this is uh, Brad with Brad and Hall. I'm back in front of this uh, motorhome right here. We just put a bunch of new furniture in, but I want to show you the old furniture first. And some of you guys might have seen this before. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of manufacturers um, have put some really cheap furniture and some really cheap coverings on some of the furniture. And what a lot of them will do, unfortunately, is they'll put flex steel furniture in the front in the captain's chairs because it says flex steel right on the arm. If you look down there. And then the other furniture they've got here is the couch we took out. And then this is the other couch we took out. These are definitely not flex steel, okay? Flex steel is gonna hold up a whole lot better than that. And I tell you right now, I know they're not flex steel because I looked at the back of them and I just tell by looking they're not flex steel. But this is what happens to the material. And a lot of people have had a problem with this. It's just a really cheap polyurethane um, from China. We use ultra leather and we use UF2, which is less expensive polyurethane from Ultra Fabrics, the same company that we get ultra leather from. And that stuff does not do that, especially the ultra leather. We've been selling it for 30 years, never seen it ever do anything like that. We've sold thousands of pieces of furniture out of ultra leather. And some people even tell the customer, oh yeah, it's ultra leather, but that's not ultra leather. I mean, you can see, you guys probably seen videos on this. And it gives flex steel a bad name, but flex steel just puts on there what the manufacturer says to use. It's just kind of sad because I mean, I, look at that. I can just, I'm just peeling the finish off. That that that's just ridiculous. But anyway, that's what you got here. This piece is a little better. It hasn't started to peel as much, but I could probably come up here. With my fingers. This is my fingernails. This is terrible. That's just unbelievable. So, anyway, let me take you inside and show you the new furniture we put in there, which is covered in genuine ultra leather. Okay, so first thing we got here, we get a couple 597s, or excuse me, 267s from Flex Steel. We got one with the power footrest. We re re reuse the customer six-way power. Okay, so that's saving about $400 right there. And uh, I think we're able to reuse their pedestals too, because they already had flex steel pedestals. Now this is genuine ultra leather. This is a ultra leather breeze that is stressed. Okay. And this stuff, it, like I said, 20 years from now, it'll still be as soft, still be as pretty, and it will not peel like that other stuff did. So we'll put a couple chairs there over here. This is one of our Lambright. Um, it's an Amish company that builds some really nice quality furniture. Oops, I just spilled the dog's water. Sorry, I'm gonna have to clean that up. <laughs> but uh, this is actually a love seat um, hide bed. Just, this is a 72 inch model, also covered in the same breeze that is dressed. I believe it's saddle ultra leather. It looks like saddle color. This is really cool. It's got a hide bed, a double hide bed in there. And it also has a fold-down console in the middle. It's almost a little bit like a theater seating unit. It doesn't have any footrests. But it does have a little console for your drinks and stuff. And then you can put that up if you... When you're not using it, when you want to use the bed. And you lay down on the couch. If you look underneath here, the seat cushion. We've got a hide -a bed underneath there. And it's got an air mattress on it, I believe. So we've got that over there. That's the Lux series hide a bed sleeper and then over here we put in one of our lambright double recliner love seats in the uh, oops sorry we are just having camera problems there we go i'm using my uh, dji uh gimbal thing here for my camera but if you see these here, we actually put these in. This has got the manual inside handle because they didn't have a lot of room for the outside handle. So a little lever here you pull. And that'll flip out your footrest. And the same thing on the other side. And these are wall huggers, so we only have to have them just a couple inches away from the wall. We actually mounted this in a kitchen slide. So this is hitting up just a little bit higher. Well, it's a whole lot more comfortable than a lot of the love seat sofas they put in these motorhomes. 
So we upgraded that, and you can see here, I'll pull this out how far down this goes. You can get pretty comfortable on that right there. I think you could sleep on that. That's that. I'll push this back up. Just kick in with your feet, and that locks back down. And there you have it. All new furniture covered in ultra leather. And that stuff is not going to peel and it's luxuriously soft. And the breeze actually has micro perf holes in it. So it, uh, it breathes. And if you want more information about ultra leather, get on our website at bradenhall.com. That's B-R-A-D-D-A-N-D-H-A-L-L.com. And go to our color selections and there's all kinds of information about ultra leather and what it is. And how so many people have tried to knock it off, but nobody's been able to figure it out yet. It's a secret proprietary process. The way to make it, it's actually made in Japan. So it's not made in China. Still wish it was made in the USA, but it is a really good product. Like I said, it's been around since the early 90s. Tons of colors, tons of textures. And you just can't go wrong with genuine ultra leather. Costs a little bit more, but in the long run, you know, you're not going to have those other problems. So... Once again, Brad from Brad and Hall. If we can get you some nice new ultra leather for your furniture, for your motorhome, just uh, give us a call at 800-445-1830 or email us and we'll be glad to help you out. Once again, uh, have a great day and we'll see you on down the road.